Hello all, in this video I'll demonstrate how to run one-way ANCOVA analysis. So in order to do this, I'm going to consider this gender as one of the independent variable, age as one of the covariate. Basically covariate is nothing but it's a metric uh, uh, independent variable that is sitting in your uh, independent variable side. And the work family balance will be considered as a dependent variable. So this is a model I'm going to create now. So here I have the work family balance code. Now you just go to this ANOVA menu and then select this ANCOVA. Now you drag gender into fixed factors, work family balance into dependent variable and then this age into covariate box. So this is a model you can perform here. So based on this quick result, uh, one can understand that gender is uh, not at all creating any difference here after the inclusion of age. Uh, basically age is explaining most of the variance in work family balance. And if you look at the p-value for this gender variable, so this is really poor. I mean at 90% confidence limit only, I'm getting significant p-value. So which means that gender is not creating any mean difference with respect to work family balance score is, con uh, score is concerned. Now, if you want to uh, get the fx size values, uh, you can also ask for the eta square and then partial eta square value that is possible. Uh, overall model test also you can ask. So you will get the overall model result also. But at the overall model level, we do see some difference. But uh, if you look at the individual uh, um, levels, we are not getting any uh, uh, difference basically. So that's the uh, this is the way how you can understand this. Um, here in the assumption check, again you can check for the homogeneity, uh, homogeneity of variance. Here uh, in the post hoc analysis, if you have more than two groups, you can uh, still perform this post hoc analysis. Even for two groups also, you can get the post hoc analysis result here. I'm just running this Tucky test. So this is the way how you will get them p-value for this tucky test still we are getting the same p-value which we have obtained in the overall model result um, estimated uh, uh, marginal means also you can get it and then here you have the save option for uh, computing the residual values for this equation and then you can also save it in your uh, data set so this is a way how you can run one one way ANCOVA analysis using um, Zamovi software thank you